was shot a mass shooting in the northeast around 3 p.m. Three gunmen in a dark Hyundai sedan. They are believed to have been wearing masks at the time. Now, our team is working every angle on this story. We begin with CBS News Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementri. Nikki, you've been out there since this happened. What can you tell us? Yuki and Jessica, we're standing at the corner of Rising Sun Avenue in St. Vincent. And we talked about earlier how two sets of buses were struck by gunfire. No one on board was hit. One of those buses is right here. This is Route 18 bus. You can see panels are just riddled with bullet holes. Just from what I can see right now, there are six on this side. There are six on the other side as well. There are three transit officers that are standing here as this bus is just at the corner right now. Obviously, is going to be processed. It's going to become a large part of this investigation. As we just learned, eight people were struck by gunfire at this time. We've been talking with witnesses. Even despite the pouring rain, people are out. They're asking questions. They're trying to find their loved ones. We spoke with one woman who not only has a business on Rising Sun Business Corridor and a thriving business at that, she says her cousin is one of those victims who was struck by the gunfire. Take a listen. Um, I'm hearing that it's like rivalries between different neighborhoods, like Alany specifically, but um, you know, a couple people got hit. Um, my relative was one of the ones who got hit. Um, thank God he's doing okay. He got hit above the knee, but um, you know, the other ones, I can't speak for them. I know one person actually ran to Jean's Hospital because it's like on Central Avenue, like two blocks up. But yeah, so and he's. And I heard that the, the bus was shot up, actually. Not the bus stop, but the bus. Thing. Um, this doesn't happen here. I heard a series of pops very loud, but I, I lived down at the next block, and I just started running for down here. By that time, it was already over. This is not the first time that this has happened here in the city. But this doesn't happen in this neighborhood. This is literally my front yard. heard from Sheena and Roxanne there. They both say to me, this is usually a quiet neighborhood. And they heard gunshots reverberate throughout this neighborhood this afternoon. I just want to show you back really quick again, Nate, if you don't mind. These bullet holes that are going through this glass on SEPTA. You can see one here, one there. There are three more on this panel as well. Again, just four across these two panels. Again, this is going to be a big part of the investigation as it continues. Sending to you guys back in the studio. That bullet hole right where people would have been sitting. But once again, no one on those buses were hurt. Nikki, thank you so much for that. From a slew of top city officials, we heard from Mayor Parker, Commissioner Bethel, Superintendent Watlington, District Attorney Larry Krasner, and all really had the same message. There was a lot of anger. There was a lot of frustration that this has continued to happen throughout this week and that school children getting off a bus were shot. Uh, they have promised changes. Mayor Parker used the words every tool in the toolbox to prevent this from happening. Eight students shot getting off the bus at this intersection. Now, what Commissioner Bethel said is that it seemed the Dunkin' Donuts on the right side of your screen, that car that was involved was parked in. One came up, and the students were coming out. It seemed those three men got out of the car and fired upwards of 30 rounds at those students, hitting eight of them. Uh, very animated, Commissioner Bethel. Take a listen. We're going to be ramping up our resources significantly. I want parents and families to know that we're going to be along our corridors across the entire city of Philadelphia until we can figure out exactly what's going on in this situation, whether it's linked to the situation on Monday, or what do we need to do more moving forward. We'll be working with Chief Lawson in that effort, but we will do everything in our power to bring those individuals who are responsible for this shooting today, as well as Monday, and any of the shootings that we have to justice. But we cannot ignore what we're seeing over the last three days. I will not sit here and people call me and tell me what I should or should not be doing. This is what we see when we give guns in the hands of juveniles and don't and what they do with them. Telling kids that they should not you know, carry guns because they're scared. Really? This is an end result of what we see. Yeah. So we are going to work hard and we're going to and continue with the men and women behind me and my team uh, to get these guns off the street. Yeah. Right. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, let's go hope ahead. that they can come up with a solution because it's exactly. incredibly, it's just, it's, we're like a broken record. Every day, somebody's like three, 11, or, three or four straight days now. Yeah, 11 kids in the last three days. Kids.